My name is Jasmine Sentesa and my passion is aerospace engineering. I've always been interested in space for as long as I can remember. When I was younger, my mother had me read flashcards with basic facts about the world on them. The seven continents, primary colors, and professions were part of the information my mother wanted me to know before I went into the first grade. But the ones that resonated with me the most were the seven planets. I can recall reviewing these cards more than the others and being fascinated about space and space exploration in general. I went from coloring Jupiter in my drawing books to researching the possibility of life on Saturn's moons in a few short years. Anyone that I met who had experience as an aerospace engineer, I made sure to have a conversation with them. My junior year of high school, I joined the robotics team and it completely opened my eyes to the possibilities as an engineer. I loved working hands-on with robots and coming up with creative ideas to solve problems. During the season, our team dealt with many problems, such as our chassis breaking a day before competition, our software malfunctioning, and our electronics board not communicating properly with other aspects of the robot. But in all honesty, these setbacks taught me so much about engineering, that it is a trial and error process and that nothing will work on the first try. This is the new test pneumatics board that we use during our season, and the way that it works is that when the power is connected to it, uh, it generates a lot of air pressure, and this air pressure is stored into an actuator, and when it's turned on and the power is working, it'll go through the tubing that is necessary, and here is the PSI that we use to know uh, what level of air pressure that we have, and when it's functioning, it, this will go up and down depending on the function that we need it. While I learn a lot from robotics, there are many skills specific to astronautical engineering that robotics cannot teach. To reach my dreams of becoming an aerospace engineer, I will need an engineering degree, which is infamous for being both rigorous and expensive. The cost for college in some private schools in California is up to $80,000 per year. And with two other sisters who have dreams as big as mine, it is near impossible to afford. After graduating, I hope to build rocket ships and spacecraft that will further space exploration. I am particularly interested in designing and testing spacecraft to see how the technology would perform outside the Earth's atmosphere. But I also want to be an inspiration to younger black women to pursue a career in STEM, and to make the young girl who sat in her room for hours rereading Planet Flashcards proud.